so yeah amazing all right perfect good 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 so let's just wait for some people to come in mm -hmm. and we started at 102 mm -hmm. cool and do you want to get the wine started camera rolling yeah or did you expect like a special shot a special special shot I oh, you know, the wine wants to intro <laughs> no, I don't mean aliens, aliens. Hi. Sure. Waiting on people to get get in. Okay, I think I messed it up. Alright, good. No, I think I messed it up. I need to go all Don't me. <laughs> don't <laughs> It's because I was messing I was struggling her. Because I'm always struggling with a wine bottle every week. Yeah, so this week is his week. Okay, yeah, right. I didn't struggle, see? It's a nice little pop. Can mm -hmm. you hold something? Sure. I'll take this off so I can cart it back. Need a phone stand for you. Nah, nah, she don't need that. No, the, the, she, her phone is the roving phone. Yeah, so. Yeah, so it's really supposed to be on her, but she's very kind, so she shares the camera with me. Yeah. Vicky, you're in charge today. Oh, okay, so. um, I'm waiting for at least 10 people to join yeah. first before we go. Yes, we're at 8. Come on, guys. Come on in. Come on in. This week's gonna be good. This week's gonna be good. Yeah, fine. Don't get too much. There you go. <laughs> you all heard this, right? Uh, la, 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 la. You all heard this. I plead the fifth. Okay, you all heard this. Okay. <laughs> well, well, load on people in life. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. All right. I can't do that, guys. So, um, let's, the cork? You have it. You have the cork. Okay, I do oh, have the cork. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have the cork. Um, all right, so let's get started. Um. Do, 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 do. Alright, so let's get started. So, cool. hi everybody, welcome to the Creative hi. Weekly. Hi. Hi. We're hi. saying hi to all hi. the cameras. One, two, three, three, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi everybody. Um, my name is Victoria. And I'm Randy Richards, not yeah. Williams. Randy Richards. And this is the Creative Weekly. Every week we have a podcast and video series where we go live. We tape live we answer questions live and we give tips in real time yep 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 now today's topic is mm -hmm. focus your focus to be specific yeah what your focus means as a creative as an entrepreneur as a human being as a person and tips and tools that you can do to hone in on your focus uh randy and i have some really great tips these are our own yep. personal experiences that we're sharing with you so um wait before we get started yeah what is today's wine uh, today's wine is sponsored by Yellowtail, and we have a Yellowtail Shiraz. There we go. So uh, we're having that. It's crafted by the Casella family, and it's in the small Australian town of Yenda, with red berry flavors, spice, licorice, and you should enjoy with a steak or in front of a roaring fire. We're in front of some AC and a camera, but that, that can work. That can so, work. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's, um, it's very dry, um, a little bit nutty, fruity. So if you are looking for a wine that you'd like with red meat, this is really good. Or just to, if you're a dry wine person, this is a good wine. Hi, Keneal. Cool. Oh, that's it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, all right, so good today's morning, topic. Yes. Yeah, sorry. No, you're the host. I'm just yeah, yeah. the second person. Oh. So today's topic is basically, as, as Victoria had said, it's focused about the how and what and why. It's particularly what to do when you don't know what to do when you're kind of leaving college um or high school or even as an adult no, or even as an adult in your 30s life. yeah if you don't know what to do with life we're going to be sharing um as victoria said sharing our tips and our experiences on you know how we got where we are and what our advice is towards that effect uh so yes yeah, so our first topic we'll be talking about who do you want to be and victoria will take that away how do you know so how do you know who do you want to be and what if you don't know who do you want to be where do we go from there how do we start okay so the first thing is who do you want to become that's the best sentence for whoever you want to be who do you want to become first i would say do a little swot analysis i know it sounds kind of technical strengths but it, weakness opportunities yeah. and threats strengths weakness opportunities and threats so what you're doing is you're evaluating the skills that you have as a person as a professional and then where you see you have your weaknesses or your opportunities, that's where you get to hone in on, okay, I'm really good at managing people. I'm really good at working with people, but I mm -hmm. suck at time management. That means the person you want to be is someone who's accountable. 
So that's the person you want to become. And then as you start practicing that, then you become that person. So when you define who do you want to be, find mm-hmm. adjectives, like really detailed adjectives. You don't want to use like unique or special. Mm-hmm. You want to be a little bit more specific. Specific. So one, do a SWOT analysis. Two, um, also find out adjectives. Find adjectives that describe who you want to be. I want to be accountable. I want to be productive. I want to be goal oriented. I want to be charismatic. Those are adjectives you want to associate yourself with. Once you found your adjectives, then start writing down the things that you need to do, the books you need to read, the activities you need to go through, so that you can actually become that person that you want to be. And also take a look at, uh, in terms of who do you want to be, take a look at who you don't want to be as well. Because having a list of things you don't want to be is like a, a very good reminder of if you're slipping or if you catch yourself in bad habits, remember you wrote that list of things that you don't want to be. I don't want to be lazy. I don't want to be late. I don't want to be um, difficult to work with. Mm-hmm. That's going to remind you, this is not who I want to be. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to stop doing it. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and just for everybody who's here right now, all six of you, I don't know if it's just six, but it's all six, six of you. <laughs> I would say, remember that you guys can use the question thing right at the bottom of the screen, right down here. There's a little question mark beside the comment box. Yeah. And if you can't see the question mark, then uh, you need to be following Victoria or me, I think, for it to pop up. Yeah. Um, we encourage asking the questions there because usually the comments roll up and then we can't get to respond to everybody or we have to be searching, searching. And we only have one hour here. So it's an interactive podcast, a live podcast. Share with people and let's answer and talk. So, all right, so let's talk about role models and people who inspire you. Essentially, uh, how do you choose, you know, a role model and, and, and where do you go from there? For how do me, you choose your role model? how do I choose my role model? Yo, all right, so I spent back in the days, in the year 2011, I, I spent a lot of time on, on the internet. I've always been just, you know, a nerd mm-hmm. and I'm on the computer on the and I'm talking to the people. And, yeah, I'm an interweb. So, for me, when I've always had very broad interest, um, whether it is in arts, in music, in arts overall, so music, visual, um, you know, our sports with a skateboarding, BMX, maybe look at football and cricket sometimes. Um, so I've, I've always been someone who, if I want to learn something, I'll go on Google, search it up, or Yahoo search, or whatever so it was at the time. So I searched. So I, I, I always try to just find different, follow different pages or platforms like fstoppers.com which is a video and photography platform or i'll follow you know verge or you know but how did you you followed all these pages but how did you narrow down like you saw somebody and you're like this is the person i want as my role model because i saw in that person's values that i would want to see myself so as you watch people you get to know them sort of from the online you kind of say oh yeah i like this kind of person i like how them talk there's something that appeals to your inner you and something that you want so once those i those things connected with me i started with a following a person on facebook interacting with them as much as i can maybe commenting at, at them time that was a little bit of a more of an introvert okay. so i didn't really so you were cyber stalked yes yeah, so i cyber stalked you you know <laughs> so i didn't really <laughs> talk to people as much but i mean if i were to give a few points on just like how you could help choosing to make it a bit more succinct i would say like you want to choose someone who's value you admire just like we say you want to choose someone who you know shares the same kind of ethos and complements the whole ideas that you have what if they're a terrible person but you love their technique would you still consider that person in a sense a role model yeah because a role model doesn't need to supply everything that you need to have you can learn from the good in people so if somebody has yeah for me because i feel like the world has changed there are a lot more people doing a lot more things and they're a lot more visible so it's easier to find different people to teach you different things so you could have a role model that teaches you about photography and videography you could have a role model that who teaches you about minimalism and self-care you could have a role model that teaches you about fashion and whatever so i feel like you can pick those different things but ultimately i wouldn't advise picking someone who you're not comfortable with in entirety even though you can pick something you have to be very mindful about that because that could affect you so just once you know you can draw your own boundaries then you can figure it out okay. um so yeah uh learn as much as you can about your role models look for role models who in various communities as i said i've had broad interests so 
it was you know when I'm BMX and you know, I follow Dan Lacey or I follow Derek or I follow you know all these different people or whether in photography I, when I back then I used to follow Sue Bryce a lot and and Laura I don't remember her last name man but she's really good she's a blonde girl Laura Laura um, no 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 not Laura Laura uh, no no not a, no this this photographer lady I followed a lot of women photographers okay. I really like how they work who with their clients who's a role model to you now who's a role model to me now you know honestly one of my biggest role models without even knowing him personally is Casey Neistat. It, he to me and a lot of people have said that Casey and I have a lot of similarities whether it's in a space or mm -hmm. I'm as a person and the kind of outgoingness. We share a lot of similarities um, in who we are as, as sort of business people to some extent and personality. Um, so I admire, I've watched a lot of his vlogs and you know his vlogs you learn a lot about his life. Um, so for me Casey is just a good example of that he's he's a community leader he interacts with his community and tries to create spaces for them and he shares a lot and and you can see the love that he has for his friends and his family and the work that he does and he's very independent he doesn't you know he doesn't like one thing i love about casey with his glasses his ray-bans he buys his ray-bans then he puts paints them white scratch off all the paint and it and leave a little white mm -hmm. rough border and he scratches his name into the helm there casey nice that casey nice that and he don't really care about what people think about how him look or him dress or what him want. He's just doing own thing and write to the beat time on, you know? And that's song. what you emulate. And that's what I emulate. So yeah, so I mean and the last thing I'd say is seek a mix of male and female role models and also don't because you know different genders can offer different skills. Perspectives. Yeah, different perspectives. Skills. So I would definitely say it's good to have balance in today. And then the last thing I would say is to don't put your role model on a pedestal because they're still human. Yeah, they're still human guys. Yeah. They can make mistakes. Can get yeah, yeah. Hi, one chinny. Well, chinny. Okay, she's here. Oh, hi. Yeah, oh, hi, everybody. Hi, yeah. hi, hi. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, so, hey, Renee Kitson. Hey, Kitty. Um, cool. Nathan, what about Nathan? Um, so yeah, you know, don't put your role models on a pedestal because they are humans, um, too, just like us, and they're real. So just understand that they're just real people. Yeah. That's so, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Oh. I think for me, my role model is I have two main role models. Yeah. The first one is. Um, Yoji Yamamoto, he's a fashion oh, designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Yamamoto. why I liked him is because he studied he studied to be a doctor for seven years and after he graduated he just gave his mom the paper and he's like, I'm gonna be a seamstress. He doesn't even see himself as a fashion designer. Word. He just sees himself as a seamstress. He uses like his models on the runway are various ages, color, is like his thing is diversity. He was doing mm -hmm. diversity before diversity was cool. Mm, nice. So he will, if he has a line and he just wants like gypsies or old people, he, yeah. that's what he does. He's his own person. He's very simple but impactful, and nice. I like that. And that's something I want to emulate. And I think a role model that I have a little bit now, no oh, two more. One, Brini Lee. Um, she's a YouTuber. She does motivational speaking. First of all, she's gorgeous. She's emotionally intelligent. She's smart, and I love women who have like that complete like combination because it's sometimes it's weird. Mm. Um, and the Try Guys, because nice. they show that you can still have a business, you can still be serious about your goals, and still be funny and, and not take things too seriously. Nice, beautiful. Alright, cool. So, alright, so let's talk about experimenting research and being open minded. Hi, guys. Welcome, Kitty. Welcome, Kitty. Hi, Joel. Kate, to our blessed self. We're doing our shout outs. Hi, I'm um, Baby Mango. Oh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> one of our you know i think yeah, baby manga has been at every single podcast like every single top one. fan top yeah. fan <laughs> mm -hmm. all right so Hi. yeah so so let's so, so um let's talk about experimenting you know um i know experimentation can help and researching can help but what would be your opinion on how that can help us in guiding your focus and knowing what to do uh, i mean do. apart as soon as you identify who you want to become and you have your role models to solidify that it's time for you to start experimenting and researching yeah. because a lot of the times why most people never have great focus or fulfill their passions is because they, in theory, they have everything. They're reading, they're on social media, they're scrolling, they're finding pictures, they have mm -hmm. a little Pinterest board, they have this, they're watching movies, mm -hmm. but they never do anything. So experimenting is putting your character and your focus into practice. So it's actually real, yeah. right? If you see your role model doing a technique, you should be experimenting that technique. So one, 
if you want to be um, whatever you want to be as a creative, as a, a digital marketer, as a videographer, photographer, mm -hmm. if you're not experimenting, you're not what you say you want to be, and you're not mm -hmm. gonna practice because somebody said practice makes permanent. Yeah, 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 not perfect makes permanent. Makes permanent. Yeah, so if you're not practicing good things or the right things, yeah, then it will not be the right thing that you learn. Exactly. So mm -hmm. one, so one, when you're experimenting, see what other people are doing abroad. So see what your role models are doing. See what people are doing around the world, and see what people are doing locally, and then make a list of those things and try them out for yourself. And yeah. in doing that, sometimes you find your niche. Yeah, Sometimes you yeah, find true. things you like and you don't like. You might start off saying, okay, this is my role model. But after you start experimenting and playing around, like, oh, uh, I think this has to change. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, yeah. And then afterwards, take a look at things that people aren't doing, aren't experimenting with. And then you start experimenting with yourself so that you have the edge because now you're perfecting your craft. Now you're, you're playing around. You can't get better if you don't try, if you don't experiment. And researching, you can't experiment properly if you don't research. True. Right? True, true, true. Oh, yes, Joe, you are, Joby, you are uh, a bit yeah. late. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Joby. Hi, Jewel. I just saw Jewel jump in a while yeah, ago. Yeah, hi, Jewel. Yes, so we're formalizing the book giveaways today. Jewel. Yeah, yeah, two books. Not one. But two. But two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two books. Um, so having that research and apart from research and experiment um it's also what again randy being consistent being yeah consistent. being consistent like being consistent act so say when you already finish deciding you know you find some role models you kind of identify some of the things that you like and don't like and that you want to do you kind of look in, into you know everything that you've researched i think at that point you need to pick a direction and start to be consistent so we can start by like say isolating one particular goal whether it is you want to learn a skill whether it is for me it was at the time was photography i knew that at uh, at um when I, one of my personality flaws was that i like to do a lot of different things so i would never really finish things but i would start them and start this and move on to this and move on to that so i realized that uh, I, you know upon finish, finishing college before even finishing college that i needed to pick something that i really loved um, and I really found fulfilling and being consistent at it. Consistency really goes against human nature because we just, variety is the spice of life. We like doing different things because it helps us to, you know, just keep our minds open and feel free. But you have to isolate one goal. Like I, the book I mentioned last, you know, two weeks ago, Essentialism, you know, you can go further, deeper when you're focusing on one goal. I feel like we should give away a copy of that book because we talk about that book every week. Can we just so give away yeah, yeah, two weeks first, this week, but two another year. Yeah. Yeah. We give away essentialism. Um, you know, focusing on incremental improvement. That's one of the things that I really champion, especially for myself. Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, cliche, yeah. but it's true. You know, you have to... Temple of God was not built in a day. Yeah, exactly. So you're not going to develop a positive, worthwhile habit overnight. It's going to take... You know, they say well, it takes two weeks for you yeah. to form a habit, two weeks of consistency. And it takes the same. Not yeah. all experiments are going to happen. Sometimes you have to be consistent. Uh, exactly. It, exactly. Come out. Yeah. So you really have to take your time. You say, all right, you want to wake up early this morning. You're not a really early riser, but you know, sorry, you want to wake up at 9 o'clock. If you wake up at 12 o'clock every day, maybe one day you set your alarm for 11.30. Yeah. Then the next two days you set your alarm for 11 o'clock. Or even 11.50. Or 11.50. <laughs> you take your time and you do it because you know you'll see over time that you'll see the improvement and it's easier for you because it's less stressful for you to think about oh i need to wake up at 7 a.m nobody wants to really wake up at 7 a.m in the morning if you could all sleep in for 10 hours we'd sleep in you know and just like you know have food come to us in the bed and just have a feet rub and we'll live our life but, wow yeah. randy that's <laughs> Bless up, daddy. specific <laughs> that's specific. but yeah so you really want to focus on incremental improvement no matter how small it is there's a quote by eleanor roosevelt and um, no matter how slow you go don't stop even if it's a small little yeah. turn just keep five steps yeah. forward four, um five steps forward four steps back is still one step forward yes yeah, still, still one step, step forward. forward what was one thing that you had to be one yeah. thing this year that you had to be consistent with mm. that would um help you whether it's personally or professionally Ah, uh, one thing this year. This year has been, uh, been, been quite a shoddy year, you know, man. Like, you man, know, that's what uh, I'm saying. Reverse. <laughs> um, but I, I would say one thing is, you know, I, consi I, I, so consistently, I try to be consistent. 
which sounds weird, but those are my three, my three things for this year is gratitude, consistency, and um. So I'm consistency is so, your consistency. Yeah, so, so whatever so it is that I'm doing. So you already have a system in place. Yes. It's just being true to that system. Yes. Okay. Because I want to make sure that I am consistent and that includes me minimalizing right. and taking the things. I think Amri um, said oh. it's like working out. It's like working out. Yeah. You have to just, every every attempt counts. The 1% rule is simple. Improve just 1% a day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Julie, you say your Instagram is acting up. Don't worry. Um, if you want to ask questions, guys, so it don't it doesn't get lost in the comment, use the little question icon that's below yeah. next to where you can put the comments so that we can see them. Um, I think Chinili said, one Chinili said, how important would you say a support system is when working towards a goal? Oh, we're gonna talk about that soon. Yeah. Please stick around. We're gonna touch on that. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So um. So yeah. Uh, next thing I would say, fight your emotions. Um. There are days when I personally get up. And I don't want anything. And those are the days that I try my best to just do commit. something, yeah. Yeah, to commit because for me, I, like as I said, sometimes I'm very inconsistent. And like I want to work out regularly. I want to eat breakfast every morning. I want to, you know, drink water. And I think every morning. Will Smith said that yeah. the 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 moment that you feel like you don't want to do something, yeah. that's when you really should do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's I always try to have this voice in the back of my head that says, "Yo, Randy, get up." Like it's become automatic to the point that mm -hmm. I'll be tired. So there's a night, two nights ago, I was working on some edits for pictures for a bridge in mine that I did some, and I was tired. It's like two a.m. in the morning, but I told myself I'm going to finish it, yeah. no matter what. I'm going to finish it, and then I needed to export the video for 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 for, <laughs> for the creative weekly. So I was like, and if anybody follow me, that's this 15 hour video 15 export. Because so, somebody wants 4K. 4K all the way, on baby. YouTube, guys, all follow the, the creative weekly on YouTube. Yeah, and and I lay down, and then I put my head on the pillow, and then I hear my voice there. Like, get up randy and i'm like ah, but i don't want to but i'm like yo get up bridget you say you're gonna oh, do that's what you do yeah i don't really I, I just go to the mural and i'm just like you're that bitch you yeah, have work yeah, yeah. to do you're gonna do it like, <laughs> look at me yeah. like look at me and then afterwards i pump myself up listen to a little bit of soca music and i'm like all right <laughs> ready ready to I go just do work nice yeah yeah so, so like you really have to fight it um I, you know I, I, another important thing for me is having a morning and evening routine same, um, same. And I keep mine very simple because I'm mean, gonna like a lot of clutter. Yeah. Drink water, tidy up, eat, Make exercise. Up yeah, so tidy yeah. up. There's another quote um, by this, uh, uh, it's a, sorry, I don't know, it's a military guy. He was presenting at a. Jacko. Jacko, was it? Jacko? And he says, You can change the world by, if you want to change yes. the world, start by making a bed. Making bed. And literally, it works for yeah, me. Because when too. I spread my bed, I feel like it's about like small things that. Uh, you do the small little incremental and things you can actually create a snowball your effect. House, like mentally, like yeah. you're not coming back to Koto. Yeah. And you know how sexy it is to go home after yeah. a tired day and see your bed. Sexy is the word she used, guys. Sexy. So you see your bed just lay out <laughs> nice and neat. Yeah. And you just see the pillow and the sheet and you're just like, mm, mm -hmm. ready mm -hmm. to lie down. Yeah, straight, straight, straight. <laughs> yeah, but Soka yeah. gives you powers. That's very <laughs> Soka true. Soka gives me, me, me powers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. So having a morning and evening routine is good. I'm I haven't I haven't solidified my evening routine as yet, but my morning routine is definitely down. Um, same, same. um So so having that having a way to book end your day, so start at any day gives you a space of consistency that you just feel everything's kind of encapsulated. That's true. There's yeah. a lot of power in the small things that we do. Bed spreading is a bed most. Bed is a most. Facts. Yes, mad facts. Yeah, yeah. What's and that? the Atomic Aya. Habits by James Clear would be a great one to give it. Okay. Ah, cool, cool. Bless right, up, bless up. Aya, Thank bless you for up. that one. Yeah, let's see what anybody has another question. Right. Oh. Uh, bless up King Sam Visuals. Just visit Randy Page. Crazy. Yeah. Jewel says, I feel like my environment isn't clean. I can't be consistent. Same. Yeah, that's true. To speak on that, Jewel, like for me, my if my, my room or my environment is a... A, a, a visual representation of my inner, of space. inner space so if my true. if you come into my room or my apartment and you say that it messy i'm having a hard time because yeah. you know a lot of things so when i clean my space it's an easy way like for example if i'm trying to be consistent and i feel overwhelmed about things i stop take a break and i just start cleaning yeah and when i finish cleaning i usually feel a lot better and that helps me to your grandma if i tell you to say um mm. cleanliness is next to godliness yeah man all the time let me hear it tonight back of my head. <laughs> but yeah. it's also because it brings a sense of peace over you yeah because you don't feel overwhelmed that you have to do something now or there's so much going around you yeah yeah so yeah. that's so true yeah so yeah um so so the last thing i'd say like in being consistent is forgiving your failures 
Um, but what? what um, would Randy you have to say? should film. Yes, what he does. Should... Yeah, Randy does. Yes, Randy does. Who's that? Who's saying that? Um, this is King's King Sam visuals. visuals. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah, I do, I do, I do. And end your day with a couple minutes of meditation. Headspace yeah, is Headspace a really is good. good app. It has thirty days free trial, and they have really nice. Yeah, <laughs> big up really, the truck. Big up the truck. Really nice meditation app. So yeah. that's one way to be consistent. Yeah. So yeah. So being okay with failure. Um. You know what would be your opinion about like handling failure? I know people say fail fast and you know learn fast. I know people, some people say you know failure is just a part of learning and all that stuff. But how do we handle failure? Failure is. I think most importantly, failure is not something to be scared of. I feel like we're raised not to make, especially as black pan Caribbean. Oh, <laughs> sorry, especially as and start with devotion. That's true. Um, especially as Black Pan Caribbean people, failure and mistakes are something that we will avoid, no matter how painful it is. And I think mm-hmm. that we need to realize that it's a part of life, right? Mm-hmm. You have to make mistakes. You will make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. If you find mm-hmm. a perfect person, let me know. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I mean, sure. make mistakes. The first thing you want to do is before you. A lot of people say make a lot of mistakes and make them fast. Um, ain't mm-hmm. nobody gonna want to run into mistakes like that. That's not what it means. Guys. No, 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 no. What it means is, um, one, if you're doing something, don't be afraid to make mistakes. And if you make mistakes along the way, learn from them. Yeah. The problem is not making mistakes and failing. The problem is that you, if you don't learn from that mistake or failure. Mm-hmm. because it means it will repeat again so one when you're going with failure look back on your past failures see how you handle them and be objective a lot of the times we like to think i was right with this and i thought this would happen and sometimes you need to step out of your own head yeah. your own space and take responsibility for your failures right so take responsibility for your failures see the past failures that you've had in life why mm-hmm. did you have them why did why did you experience this a lot of the times the stories we tell ourselves we are our biggest protagonists but sometimes we are the villain we're the ones sabotaging ourselves so find out how you handled failure in the past what are the failures that might be um secretly sneaking up on you every time you're about to do something like remember when they did did this and it never (laughs) did go through holding it down holding it back right and now face them like nah this happened because i was young i didn't do my research and it just happened this time i'm gonna do my research once you look at your past failures, look at, look at okay, one thing I do, this exercise I do, I, one, I write down my fears. So let's say I'm afraid to do a speech. My fear is I will fumble and I'll, um, I'll yeah. say my words wrong. What's the lie that comes with the fear? Um, you're not really good at speaking. That's the lie that's going on in my head. Well, then I write, what's the truth? The truth is you've already prepared your speech ahead of time. Yeah, you know what facts. you're going to do. And it's okay even if you make a mistake just roll with it and then the action I take is that I write down the action and I say my action is even if I make a mistake I'll just make a joke and roll with it and just make people know that I made the mistake but I'm gonna laugh at myself and that's that's a way that I normally handle failure if I'm afraid of failure I write my fears the lie the truth and the action that goes with the truth so it helps you to reinforce mm-hmm. that even if you do fail it's okay yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, I mean, and <laughs> Jules said the thing is learning from things, but I still want to choke myself or girl. There are times when you ever go to bed and you're sleeping and you remember you did something from like two thousand and when and you're like, Why did I do this? <laughs> it happens. It happens yeah, to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. What's one mm. way that you deal with failure? Or one way that oh. you prepare yourself that if you might have failure? Mm. I mean, alright, well, Failure is inevitable. It's something that happens um, no matter what. Once you're self knowledge, yeah, yeah. Once you're doing something, you know, whether it's business or learning a new skill or just life, you're going to fail at something. So, for Hi, me, Don V. Sorry about yeah, that. And so, I think Ikma, um, what's his name? Lisi Monet. Oh, Lisi Monet. Yeah. Being Says, compassionate with yourself is important. Yeah. Um, what was the question? Yeah, you're losing me. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> how, did you yeah. Deal, how, did, how do you deal with failure now? All right. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I was saying preparing is, you know, even though failure is inevitable, you have to just understand that that's just a part of life and don't be afraid of failing. 
it's something I think you should embrace failure because it is through failing. A lot of the lessons that I've learned have come from my biggest failures when I messed up an entire project because I wasn't, you know, I didn't know that, oh, I needed help and I needed to call other people. But now I know how to better structure a team because... It's like when you do yeah. a maths problem. Yeah. The hard maths problem that you get wrong and when you finally get it right, you never forget it. But the easy one you yeah. forget sometimes. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's, that's a part of it. Like doing it right doesn't give you any space to expand sometimes because you might get comfortable in doing the same thing over and over. When you fail sometimes, it helps you to think about different novel ways that you can kind of learn how to fix this problem. So for me, dealing with failure, you know, I try to be honest with myself. If I need to step back and recognize that I do feel a bad way about something that happened, I step back and I confide in my closest friends, mm -hmm. um, you know, and talk to them. And, you know, they'll usually give me a pep up and cheer up and, you know, I say, all right, you know, say, yeah, man, this happened, but dog, you're the boss, you know, mm -hmm. you're the, you know, whatever. And, and they'll still be real and say, yo, Randy, you know, uh, this thing happened, are you, we kind of mess up right here. Yeah, so, so, I think, so I think definitely that's really how I deal with failure. So then you said, I'm, I messed up, messed up a project by not backing up files. Yeah. Lost a whole day of shooting. What? Yeah, Denny, Denny, you and me both, I lost a day of shooting some crashed hard drives from a wedding and it took me like a year to finish and deal with that and it was not fun and the wife was pissed at me. Weddings are serious. Yo, business, so, guys. so, 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 so I've learned from that like when I'm on the shoot. Uh, I don't format my cards. I back up to two or three drives. When I get back, you know, everybody have yo travel with separate drives in separate cars. When people pay them money, you can't mess up them job. It's the once in a lifetime wedding. Yeah, but yeah, you can't yeah. replay a wedding. You can't guys. replay a wedding no matter what. <laughs> you you can't, can't replay a wedding. But yeah, so so that's what I'd say. But um, so yeah, so let's let's move on to the next. Sure. Uh, you know, I the next topic I'd say I will talk about is about you know stepping outside of the box. Which is something people talk about a lot, you know. And, and in the famous cutters. words of uh, Victoria Taylor, be a box cutter, not a box. You know? And and there is, I would like to say from my perspective, there is value in the box itself. The box allows you to see what's there, what exists within a space. And you can look at that and use it as a starting point. But you don't want to end up just giving in to conformity and giving in to the, the narrow road that everybody follows, the, 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 the trodden path. You want to go against that because that's where some of the best ideas go. You have to get into the spaces where you are most uncomfortable, where things don't necessarily feel right, and that's where experimenting comes from. Yep. You know, experimenting goes into that. You want to try different things. You want to go out and say, all right, well, let me look up some Japanese commercial ads. You, even, you don't have Yo, no base here. No. Yes, yeah, crazy <laughs> ads. And you can even look on how these ads will add value to the stuff because you can learn little things mm -hmm. from it. Some things are, I listen to some weird music and I watch some weird movies just that don't have nothing to do what I like. Mm -hmm. But I learned a little things from here and there and I'm like, oh, I had to use the, the sound the right there and, the and they emphasize this and use that there. So it's good to experiment and look outside and, and don't give into conformity. And that still feeds into the fact of the matter when you're choosing what it is that you want to do when you don't know what to do with your life you want to if it's it's okay if you want to say if you want to be a, a seamstress that's cool if you want to be the best seamstress that you want to be that's cool you, you know but to stand out amongst the crowd you're going to have to if you're going to be the best you got to be the best 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 yeah and if you can't be the best then you find a niche and you be different yeah you try you to find your blue ocean strategy. you find your blue there you go blue ocean strategy i know about that book i haven't read it as yet Same. big up adrian he's mentioned it a couple of times but yeah so so be a box cutter so let's move on to finding your tribe what do you have to say about <laughs> <find it? laughs> but yeah um you know okay. how important is it to to have a group of people that support uh your as the you know, socialist between the two of us yeah. um me? Yeah, you. No, man, no, Vicky. I think you got. This um. Thing. So finding your tribe. Um. Oh, it's gone. Check again. I see it. You know, I see it. I see the question icon. Um. It disappeared. It disappeared. All right. We'll just drop the questions in the yeah, comments. Yeah, drop the we'll questions and we'll scroll through. Yeah. Um. I think finding your tribe. For me, um, in high school, we grow up and we think that having a lot of friends mm -hmm. is like the best thing in the world. <laughs> But you can still be more. in a room full of people and still be lonely. True. Right? Facts. When you have your role model, when you've decided who you want to become, meaning different from how you are now, right? 
then you have to realize that you can't really hang around the same people. You can't really hang around people who are not going towards... People say, birds of a feather flock together. And it, mm. it's, that's a 80-20 rule. Because right? yeah. sometimes there are some people you kind of need to hang out with just to make sure that they're grounded. Yeah. You're that person to help them. And the other 80% of the time, you have to be with people who ground you. Yeah. So, one, first take a look at who are you hanging out. I think um, David Carnegie yeah. said that you are influenced by the five people that you spend the most time with. So, who are the five people that you're spending oh, the man. most time with? That. And if those people are, let, let me just be straight up. If those people are trash, if those people are not edifying you, then you are spending time with people who are not going to build you. It's the same thing where if you go to the barbershop, yeah. often enough, one day you're going to come up with a haircut. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you hang out with people who just don't want anything with them life every day while you're trying to do anything, you're going to come up with a haircut. Yeah. So decide who are the people you're going to minimize your time with. There's some people you might have to cut off. There's some people you might have to say, hey, can't hang out as much as often because I'm going to be busy. I hope you understand. Just like they said, there are people for a season, a reason, and a lifetime. And not everybody is for a lifetime. Your season has passed because you're... Yes, a small supportive circle is the way to go rather than a massive clique. It's very important. Yeah, is more... Because your tribe should your tribe should be able to offer good constructive criticism criticism <laughs> criticism. So yeah. one, evaluate your current tribe, take out who you need to take out, say goodbye to who you need to say goodbye to. It's a part of the growing pain. And then two, find out where your tribe hangs out. Like you can't sit home and expect really amazing people to broke in at your house and mm-hmm. hang out with you. That's mm-hmm. not how it works. It's like women who are like, oh my God, I want a boyfriend. All right, you go out, <laughs> you do it. No, so I'm supposed to break in your house. I'm fine. You answer, I love you. No, that's weird. Don't do that. I have a friend who says that. You might have a broken house. I'm fine. I should have a phone more. They're going to up. No, no. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> so, we digress. Yeah. Um, so, find out where your tribe is hanging out and go there. Yes, you're going to feel uncomfortable. Yes, you're going to feel out of your element because you are leaving a space. You're leaving the space that you are comfortable in and you're going into a space where you're ready to grow and growth is not comfortable. So Mm -hmm. once you do that, and then I would say pray about it and let your actions attract the people that you want. So who you want to become, take the actions. Because when you're acting in that energy, when you're acting in that environment, Mm -hmm. naturally, they're going to attract to you. And then you pick and choose and refuse and you go along the way. So that's how you find and keep your tribe. And maintain your tribe. Don't be that person that takes from you your tribe. Don't be a vampire, guys. Don't be a vampire. Nobody likes vampires. Nobody likes people who suck the life out of them. Don't no ask vampire. for everything from people and never give. The point of a tribe is a group of people coming together, pulling resources together, and growing each other. True. I think somebody... Oh, Listen, Danny, that is a part of my tribe. Then you my G. Oh, I think somebody said... Um, give me... Um, Becky says back to the wedding fail you could have collected all the photos from the guests offer free editing service to recreate that day again just saying solutions are there you just have to switch perspective Becky I would like to say that I found a solution I spent 500 US dollars sent it to Samsung USA and they got back all of the pictures but thank you for that advice Hi Beat Banger <laughs> Hi Steven Bless Thanks for Beat joining Banger. Yeah Beat Banger in the building Energy is probably the most important when developing a um, I would say as um, people of our generation, we use energy very loosely. So I would yeah. say your mindset yeah. is the most important thing mm-hmm. because how you think, if, if you want to hang out with successful people and you're thinking about failure and you're coming with that type of energy or mindset, they're not going to want you around, right? Because there are people who are positive, they have good energy, yeah. but their mindset doesn't vibe with what you're supposed to what you're going for in life yeah so yeah. i would say mindset over mindset and energy but mindset over energy oh yeah thank you guys super helpful yeah thank like, you for watching do that thing like it doesn't i don't know person go like oh, oh there yeah. it is can you can you see yeah because uh, honest oh yeah <laughs> oh my god no you're struggling <laughs> oh yes i am struggling it's so, my week to is struggle. there any more comment like uh, oh well, we have one more okay. topic before please questions. randy you owe me much love who that who said that equal eye Oh yeah, please tell Randy you owe. <laughs> what? Yeah. What you Eric, people? Cole, man, what's going on, dude? What's going on, brother? Brother. T- oh yeah, yeah, he does. I know. I wonder if he's, he sees the gag. No, I don't know. Anyway, um, I thank you, Becky, um, Cole, um, for coming in. Thank you, Chini Will. Um, Bafia, Baf, Randy. Bafia, Baf, Randy. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
So yeah, I guess now is the time where we're gonna take some questions. Wait, actually, oh. we have one oh, more topic. Sorry, yeah, sorry, we have sorry. one more topic. I'm rushing. Um, so the last thing we want to talk about is about reevaluating and don't be enough, not being afraid to change direction. So not being afraid to change direction. Close up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you know, as you you chart your own course and you learn about what it is that you want to and don't want to do, you know, at some point you may have invested x amount of time into doing x amount of thing and you don't see it working out for you um, i says it's my gift to you i'm not sure what you gave me but i appreciated it you get well you gave me a number of things and if it's, so i appreciate all of them bless up equally dude i've been messaging you by the way like checking on your home, if you guys are good in cali like i hear from caesar and everybody is following from me virgin like you're good anyways <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so you know it's called it's it's called a sunk cost fallacy. It's the idea that you've invested X amount of time, a lot of time, money, effort, whatever it is, in this particular idea or business or whatever. And you are at a point where things aren't going well, visibly so. And there's re reasonably you can say that at this point, it, it doesn't make sense to continue practically. Mm -hmm. um, but because you've already invested so much money and time, you feel like, it doesn't make sense you pull out no no you'll see sometimes these memes on the internet where you see the guy digging the hole and then there are two guys and one dig the hole further and he reached the diamonds and the next one stop that is also true but you also still know need to know when to quit while yeah, you're ahead while you're you ahead. have to know not you don't want to justify like for example you go to a restaurant and you spend a your two thousand jamaican dollar on a buffet and you say oh well is it all you can eat buffet i'm gonna stuff myself till i can't walk out the door straight like you don't need to do that not because you, everybody except victoria <laughs> doesn't need to do that because you don't always like sometimes it's okay to say enough is enough sometimes it's okay to say embrace change yeah. because it is the only constant con um, oh um something the field marshal that's a field marshal yes embrace yeah. change is the only constant it's king only sam constant said, think say do behavior yeah, identity mentality bless up king sam yeah so don't be afraid to change your direction there's a lot of time one of the things a very good friend and a mentor of mine moon had said to me is that she appreciated about me is that i'm always evolving and I'm, I'm always you know paying attention to life and rolling with his life and then changing and growing from that i started out as in it i wanted to be a computer scientist when i was in primary school and then that changed to me doing computer it and data networking then at the end of college i changed i want to be a photographer and a media professional then after a photographer that changed to me being a portrait photographer then that changed from that being a filmmaker and a videographer and that's where I'm now. So there's been a lot of changes. I've been a skateboarder. I've been singing in, the, in, in, in choirs. I've been dancing. And I've evolved from a lot of these things to the space where I am now. And if I ever held on, yeah, there's a disadvantage. Because sometimes you don't want to. The disadvantage, if you, it's like a balance. You don't want to be changing too frequently. And you don't want to be stuck too much. You have to just be very mindful. Be very aware. And stop. You know, have your checkpoints. Stop evaluate the situation you're in see if it's serving you and the goals that you do have and then from that point you can decide whether or not it's a something that you should continue with so yeah that's that's really my thing right here okay guys let's yeah. take some questions i think um one chinny will says question how important would you say support system is when working towards a goal also how do you cope if you don't have one That's i think you should take that one because you spoke about trying. oh if you don't have a support system because a lot of people forget that when you're transitioning to a new tribe you're gonna be by yourself um True. i would say uh you will feel lonely you will feel alone but you but nothing lasts forever Mr. Lonely. my mom says the only thing in life that lasts forever is salvation and that's it no <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be for a time but it's also the perfect opportunity if you don't have a support system to work on yourself yeah because a lot of the times we ask for tribes and we ask for support systems but sometimes if we get them when we wanted to get them we would be a part of the problem mm -hmm. we wouldn't have appreciated them we wouldn't know how to function properly in them we mm -hmm. think we're ready but we aren't really ready so work yeah. on yourself some more spending time with yourself so that you are interdependent and dependent is another important um characteristics when you're building your focus because you're working on who you want to be just holding on yourself be g somebody earlier said be gentle to yourself be kind to yourself and work on it um somebody uh, oh atomic atomic habits by james clear um somebody suggested that book. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. yeah. And uh, we have another question that says, um, oh, tips. Any tips to target um, to find paying clients? Paying clients? Yeah. Uh, any tips to target to find? Advertise. I mean, you're the marketer. You're the one who should be. Uh, guys, if you have any yeah. marketing tips, um, branding tips, uh, you need help with branding questions that you need help with, just message me, um, DM me. I have a free marketing consultation. Um, Free of charge. She says it's 30 minutes, but really it's an hour and a half. It's 30 minutes. <laughs> it's 30 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. And you'd be amazed at what you what you can. When you're really good, you can find out problems in 30 minutes or less, guys. Oh, right. to your own horn. Go, girl. Just 30 sure. minutes. You know. All yeah. right. So, um, next question is... Um, somebody had a next question. Blah, 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 blah. It feels so weird not having the phone. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah. baby mango says, Oh no, no, Alex Wolf feel like Uno would have liked our content. Um, I'm not sure. I have the names popped up, but I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah. So, guys, if you have any questions, put them below. Also, if you're worried about focus, one of the first books that I read mm -hmm. was Slight Edge. It's a book that shows you how to be consistent, mm -hmm. how to define who you want to be, what you want to get out of life. In a long on a long-term basis yeah. so slight edge is the name of the book it's really great it has um workbooks and questions in there so you fill it out as you go along the way check it out um alex will somebody said alex is pretty dope yeah cool hey guys that's true jerry says that's true but some people work better with people for example a guy might not feel motivated to do more until he's in a relationship or on good terms with someone he values yeah, but I think that's a very st unstable ground yeah. to stand on. If you, you don't, you shouldn't. If you need a catalyst to move, yeah. then that means that when that person becomes, because human beings change, yeah. when that person becomes less of a motivation, he'll just go back to his state. Yeah, you're not, you don't really want to do it. You have the motivation has to come from yourself. It has to come from you. It, and that's a strong foundation. Putting it on someone else isn't a very strong foundation because people change seasons and life. Exactly. So you have you, to be accountable yeah, to yourself. You have to be accountable to yourself and you have to find your own inner motivation first. There are people who can inspire you to, to be better and do better, but you shouldn't place that inspiration too much. It's a, it's 20 rules. It's, a, it's a dependency, technically. Yeah. It's, let's not pretty it up. It's a dependency. Yeah. You're being dependent on another human being to be your best self. Then you're not going to be fully helpful to that uh, that other human being. Yeah, I think I saw a question. Yeah, uh, the question was random one. Any anywhere develops th thirty-five oh. minutes. Oh, King Sam. So no. So I think he was the source figure. I thought he was speaking about filmmaking, yeah. but actually, I don't shoot film for. T I shot some film stills. Already, it's a medium format, but uh, I don't think anywhere develops thirty-five millimeter film. Fault Express used to do it and Pews color lab did it you can check them but i don't know if they still do it um anymore and if they do do it they only develop certain roles of film the best option i would say is to go online i don't remember the websites right now but you could always dm me and yeah. i send you a link um but online and send it overseas is better they'll send you digital scams scans um and i know jake rubin develops film i don't think he offers it as a service but he can develop this film for you and scan you can talk to him and get pay him and say so look for Jick Rumen or Visual Ninja Jick um, on and Instagram. And you can DM him. And just DM me and yeah. I'll, I'll help you out, get in some direction. Um, I see Bree also said, how does someone co plan There are, there are, let's just be real, there are a lot of people who depend on other people. What's the question? Their, Sorry, first. I didn't hear um, the question. She's, she's um, adding to people who depend on other people for their motivation. Yeah. So I'm saying there are lots of people who are like that. There are more people than you actually think. And sometimes you do it yourself. You just have to catch yourself yeah um minua you okay okay my um baby mango has something for you um king sam kadim yeah kadim but yeah. I, i've tried developing kadim but yeah what that's up yuri brie says are you give me that excuse that seemed like str um if any woman or man to be, yeah, says that they need to be with somebody to have motivation to do something that's not real motivation that's an excuse yeah. Because if you stress them out and if you give them a hard time, then you're their excuse for not being the be their, their best e self. But this is a this is not a, a full on relationship um, podcast. Not at all. Not yet. We will talk about relationships somewhere. Maybe season two or three. Maybe season two or three. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's stick yeah, to the creative. Let's stick to the um and I think. Yeah, overdoing. 
Yo, Dury, share, ah! share. Bless up, Dury. Thank you. That's Dury, my G. Dury is the guy. Dury is the guy in New York. How's New York, Dury? How's inside and rooftop guitar playing? Please DM Randy for that. Please DM. Thank you very much. Sure. Y'all the having weekly, full on conversations, hours. dropping gems. Thank you, guys. Um, if you have gems, we're not the only people with gems in there, guys. If you have gems that you want to drop, drop them. This is yeah. all about community, all about bringing our creative and amazing people together. And guys, don't forget, we're on Instagram, on The Creative Weekly. We're on mm. Twitter, we're um, mm. as The Creative WKLY. WKLY. We're on Facebook as The Creative Week. And most of all, we're on YouTube. The YouTube. Put this on YouTube. The Tube. We're on YouTube. Go ahead, go watch the, the full video. Um, yeah. We have a nice ass camera, 4K, courtesy of Randy and Mint Studios. Great, great, so great. So if you want to watch the video, go over there, subscribe. And we have episode five, which is just an audio post, and we have episode six, that's last week video, that's already up. Um, so you can watch that. And we also the podcast is podcast is almost live. It's live on Spotify right now. We're mm -hmm. working on getting it through Google and Apple and all the other popular podcast services. So. We're pretty much there. So you can, even if you missed this and you didn't catch the start, you can get all that content. Exactly. And there. we click the link, go to the Creative Weekly on Instagram, click the link, sign up for the newsletter. You'll get videos, you'll get freebies, you'll get all of the good stuff. And then, then, then he, he says, just start quote himself. Stop complaining, <laughs> start changing. Stop complaining, start Courtesy changing. Courtesy of the great Denny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 so yeah yeah so so we're there guys we're all on the, those different platforms so please check us out um and the <coughs> if you have any more questions please ask we're gonna wrap up soon yeah we're at 53 minutes so we're gonna wrap Super up soon. soon and so, just want to um go ahead, what's that? big up i just want to big up brie I yeah. want to big up Jewel. I want to big up Joby. Yeah. Um, Baby Mango, Mango friend, Denny. Denny. Um, also, we saw somebody new today. Um, where is she? Was she Becky? Becky with the good hair, and she did ask the film um, film question. Yeah. Becky, thank bless you. Bless up for... your wisdom if you're still here. Kenyo, yeah. thank you, Kenyo, for yeah. joining. Yeah. Bless up to all our regulars. Bless up to all our newbies who come and join us. Yeah. We're live every week on Friday at 1 p.m. Please tell a friend and tell a friend friend um and yeah we're talking about all the topics for creatives we're trying to just share our experiences um as entrepreneurs freelancers creatives persons millennials living in jamaica working and what you just shot the wall of my messy studio I'm oh here. sorry <laughs> actually i've been doing this all day guys i have not been doing this all day, day. She's like, camera, her camera work is but there's a there's like a <laughs> but anyway <laughs> so so yeah so do check us out and guys. the book giveaway so the last thing um we said, i want a book too there you go so, so we have two books to give away, which show your work. Bless up, Jewel. Jewel, please jump on. Yes, um, Jewel. See there. You get so first dibs. You, you want to explain how week. we're going to give away this? We have two books. This is one. Yeah. And another so, one. So, guys, if you want mm -hmm. to win these two books, we're going to have them shipped for you. And we're going to give them away separately. Give to two different yeah. persons. So, two books to two people. Yeah, two people. Two books to two people. How do you win this? We're going to post on the Creative Weekly. All yeah. you have to do is like the post, follow us, and tag your friends. And we'll pick you guys at random. Two people will win two free books. And we're yeah. always going to give away books every week. Um, I want the book. How this go? Okay. And guess what? Follow the Creative Weekly to find out how to enter. We're going to post um, later today. You guys see the post. Go follow the Creative Weekly. You see the post. Enter. Win you two books. Read up yourself. Get enough. Drop gems like Denny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Cool. So, guys, just do that. Um, we're going to already order two of the books already. One order um and uh, but it's going to take a while to get to jamaica so we'll pick the winner at like a week away from north yeah so, and then the second if uh we'll wait to order the second one just in case somebody overseas wins, yeah so we can just send it directly to them um so yeah here we go that's it guys so what if you live in saint catherine uh we'll have to wait till the the the, the curfew will lift up isn't it yeah we, you have to wait till the, but we'll hold your books for you yeah you'll win and we'll hold the book for we'll you we'll hold the books for you so yeah. guys that's it for the creative weekly again our wine was brought to you by yellowtail bless up yellowtail and it was also brought to you by the amazing people who join our podcast every week and our new people thank you guys yeah bless up bless up bless up bless up bless up all right so guys we'll see you next week Bye. Sorry to have to go, but bye. <laughs> bye.